So this is our testing room here. To find out how a somewhat older brain can control its impulses, I've come to the University of Pittsburgh in the lab of Bea Luna. Yeah, so, so sit here, but first look at me so I can explain to you a little bit what oh, we're going okay. to do. What we're testing here are your eye movements, and specifically saccades, which is, in fact, the fastest motor movement that the human body can make. The saccade just means an eye, eye movement. movement. So what we're going to do is that I'm going to show you uh, a fixation target. Just look at it. All of a sudden, it's going to go off and the light's going to appear somewhere. You don't know where it is. And what I want you to do is to look to the opposite location. So it should be something like this. You're gonna look at it, a light will appear, and you look the other way. Okay. And let me assure you, monkeys are really good at this test. They are? <laughs> oh, well then, in that case. It takes about six months no, of training. No, I'm in now. I'm not, you, now I'm, I'm gonna do great. Well, perhaps I'm not so great. It's proving surprisingly hard to drag my eyes away from the light. Hey, you know what this is like? I feel like I'm the boy in the story. And when that yellow light comes in on the left side of the screen or the right side of the screen, I feel like it's the clerk's wife coming into the room and I can't help but turn to it and shoot a glance at her. The visual system, the brain stem is all wired up. The attentional system to look it's something that appears in the environment. Yeah. That's what our brain wants to do. So in order for us to not do that, you have to engage executive regions that will say, even though you really want to do that, rest of the brain, I have a plan in executive regions, and our plan is not to look at that. So it's, it's a way for us to be able to look at the integrity of the brain to be able to engage a plan and take over the impulsive areas of the brain, which is something that develops with, you know, throughout adolescence. Right. Bea Luna recently began an ambitious research project to find out just what an adolescent brain is doing as it readies itself to resist impulsive acts. 18-year-old Catalina will be taking the eye movement challenge this time while her brain's electrical activity is being monitored. So which, her head is going into a magnetic device? What is that? Yes, yeah, so, so the MEG is going to be lowered onto her head. And all it is is that, you know, she has these electrodes and the actual MEG machine has other types of coils that are able to receive the electrical information that's coming from the surface of the cortex. The bowl over Catalina's head contains 306 electrodes, recording what's going on as her brain mobilizes the resources to resist looking at the light. Early results suggest that for a few fractions of a second before the light comes on, the parietal and prefrontal regions have been talking back and forth, and that the more those conversations have become synchronized, the better Catalina is able to resist her impulse to glance at the light. You're looking to see it not be so efficient, not so well synchronized, for instance, at a certain age. And then as development takes place, it gets better and better synchronized and better, more efficient. Is that what you're finding? Uh, we, this is a, a new study, and that is the hypothesis that's driving a lot of our work. Jimmy's crime involved yelling and screaming to intimidate the clerk, a rush of emotion that may have contributed to his impulsiveness. Catalina has once more volunteered her adolescent brain to find out if emotional arousal interferes with the brain's ability to gear itself up to resist looking at the light. During that preparatory period, we're going to be presenting emotional sounds because we also know that during the adolescent period, there's this hypersensitivity to emotion. But this should be emotional, yeah. yeah. No, it didn't. See, that didn't get me. I'm, I'm used See, to babies crying. See, me as a mother, I am like... I yeah. immediately want to go in and take care of that. Yeah. That got me. That's a chipmunk brushing his teeth. <laughs> Does that take you back to Nash? <laughs> no, that's the call to, to the horses at a horse race. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> It took me back to, to when I was an out-of-work actor, <laughs> betting at the racetrack. 
This is another new study of Bayes, and the results aren't in yet. But it's likely that young subjects like Catalina will be less able to control their impulse to look at the light when distracted by emotional sounds. <laughs> 